Shari. Chris. Come on, Shari. Shari, 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 Shari. All right. Shari, 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 Shari. Shari, 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 Shari. Shari, 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 Shari. Go. Shari, 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 the explorer. Shari. He's a super cool explorer, Shari. I need your help. Grab your help, huh? Let's go. Jump in. Vamanos. You can lead the way. Hey, hey. Shari, Shari, Shari. Shari, 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 Shari,
the bottle might also have become slightly deformed due to the expansion of the air inside the bottle. The phenomenon observed in question 5 is the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law states that the pressure, volume, and temperature of an ideal gas are related by the equation PV is equals to nRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N means the number of moles of gas, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature. In this case, as the air inside the bottle cools down, the temperature, or T, decreases. Since the volume, or V, of the air inside the bottle remains constant, the decrease in temperature results in a decrease in the pressure, or P, inside the bottle, as predicted by the ideal gas law. This decrease in pressure causes the bottle to slightly deform and the moisture in the air to condense on the surface of the bottle. 